Hello and welcome to Goa 365 Story Behind the Story. Now we have been doing a series of shows, series of episodes on people with <coughs> disabilities. And uh, in January there is something which is known as Purple Fest, which is going to be organized by the government along with the department, with the office of the Goa State uh, Disability Commission and, and and various stakeholders. So with us today is a very very uh, distinguished uh, audience. Uh, I would like to start with our uh, uh, would like to welcome to our show Minister for Social Welfare, Subhash Palde. <coughs> the secretary office of goa state disability commission taha haji welcome sir minister okay. and uh, secretary and senior journalist prakash kamath prakash sir welcome so to start off i would like uh, prakash bab to introduce introduce the, the minister and and the haji's to to our audience prakash bab yeah this uh, purple festival is a festival of inclusion and accommodating everybody including persons with disability with the society so purple is the international color associated with disability now this goa festival which we are going to have it will be a festival organized by goa social welfare department that is government and disability state commissions commissioner's office <coughs> so with me now i have on my right hand side mr subhash uh, faldesai who is minister for social welfare and he is also holding other portfolios like uh, river navigation archives and archaeology but social welfare is the department which is which is a nodal department for persons with disabilities so therefore uh, for this festival it will be a key department host main host so uh, mr uh, subhash bab fardesai from the time he has taken over the social welfare department mm -hmm. we from the disability sector we always keenly watch when a new minister comes and i am glad to say that he has been taking a lot of interest in this disability issues right from when he had taken over that time i have to say that this uh, monthly pension was pending for a huge period and that issue was the first issue which he resolved to my left i have mr taha haji taha is 100% visually impaired a uh, fully empowered disability person among us he at present earlier mr taha was deputy director social welfare department and head of special cell on disability in that department and now mr taha is secretary to the goa state disability commissions office thanks prakash bab Now, Shubhash Bab, at the Purple Fest, uh, mm -hmm. we are you all are doing. Now, government is taking very keen uh, initiative. Uh, so, give us uh, like koshe kite exactly you know, some sort of a overview. Okay, this idea is brought to you my, uh, by uh, the Commissioner for Disability, Person okay. with Disability, okay. Mr. Guru Prasad Pauskar, who is okay. very extensively working for the cause of uh, this sector. you know uh, for to give them the justice to give them to empower them socially economically educationally to find out the employment for them so he's working throughout and he came and he sat with me and he gave me the idea that we must address all the problems which are faced by the disabled person in society and they should feel inclusive and all the people should not look them sympathetically but treat them as their own and equally uh, equally potential equally capable uh, people so this kind of environment has to be created so for that purpose what we thought that all normally whoever all those disabled person uh, person with disability should feel that we are equally competent we are we are equally potential capable we have all that creativity <coughs> also within ourselves then why not exhibit that so for that exhibition and to address all the problems on a common platform 
we have uh, put in this uh, uh, this is the right uh, uh, prospect in to look these issues in the right perspective uh, to get all the celebrities all those successful people disabled person uh, person with disabilities who have gone higher ups and who have acquired the knowledge and occupying a uh, best of the position despite of their disabilities to showcase their uh, yes. success, uh, success stories and again <coughs> we have various uh, uh, what you call that se sections for of this festival one is think tank what the think tank will do that uh, they will call all those uh, i mean um, the person with disability successfully ventured into successful business successful employment and they are occupying highest position to showcase them to get them together discuss and debate have master uh, master classes in conversation debates and to get the literature and the content to frame the new policies which are not okay. identified so far the issues which are not identified uh, so far get them together and put up in a policy which is next to come second thing is all those from this is the national uh, yeah. level uh, conference uh, this festival all the people from all over the country will have i mean the goa is a destination wherein people would love to come and enjoy <laughs> so all these disabled person we thought that they must must be thinking that <coughs> goa is so beautiful everybody describes it and we have not experienced because it is not a uh, 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 disabled friendly what we have done now is uh, to make goa or particularly a panjim capital city accessible we have been trying very hard to make beaches accessible to provide them water sports to get all the buildings accessible wherever they visit the footpaths accessible a normal a uh, uh, person with disability if he walks out he should not be assisting somebody but they themselves should be able to move around and enjoy the fun the goa so we thought of getting all these people together and give them all sort of uh, 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 games entertainment program cultural programs then uh, special films to be created uh, curated for the blinds also so all those address uh, all those problems that they face they should feel that we are at par with the pers normal person and we are accessible to all those uh, sports all those entertainment programs all those activities a normal person does we should be able to do it so for that purpose lot of infrastructure is uh, has to be created it is a very challenging and a difficult task that we are facing when we are calling we are expecting around 5000 people footfall for this program so it is a great task and everybody should come up and support us you know this is not a budgeted program and as you said that it is a government problem a, a government program but it has not been taken up by government we have asked for some assistance which is not been confirmed today <laughs> but we are trying to get all the resources from all over through csr also and we have requested the central government we have requested the state government and we are confident that we will go ahead with all this and we have started and we have half done the uh, to make the panjim city accessible and uh, uh, the footpath are accessible the kalangut and miramar beaches will be made accessible the buildings we have 50% of the buildings in uh, this we have made accessible we are trying to provide them all comforts during their stay in uh, uh, during this festival it is on 6 7th and 8th of january so this is what we thought of uh, giving them all that and probably this will be a, a like international film festival which has happened in goa this may turn out to be a every year calendar uh, okay. event to be performed in goa or <laughs> elsewhere so what about you have experience in ifi because last time when i spoke to you it was about ifi yes this <laughs> time you are a minister yeah. of social welfare but this is a very 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 good uh, initiative so you have to be uh, complimented especially since you're saying that you're pushing for it it was yes. not part and if it becomes an annual affair nothing yeah. like it i think yeah. it will be very very because go everybody wants to come as as, as you said rightly said so uh, tas up uh, explain to us uh, what exactly <coughs> pink uh, the purple fest entails what is going to happen kya hoga purple fest mein ye 1 2 3 4 5 what okay. you was explain like you were telling me sure. outside rally hmm. rally hone wala hai rally is going to happen this is going to happen that is going to 
So, uh, first of all, thanks a lot, uh, Goa 365, uh, to, uh, you know, help us promote the Purple Fest Celebrating Diversity 2023. Uh, as uh, Mr. Prakash and uh, Minister Saab rightly said, okay, this festival is happening uh, uh, through the Office of the Commissioner for Persons with Disabilities in collaboration with the Directorate of Social Welfare and Entertainment Society of Goa. Uh, it will be uh, a first of its kind in the country uh, such a big scale festival which would be taken uh, into consideration for persons with disabilities specifically. What we are doing here is uh, we are having a variety of tracks which would be run parallelly. Dates as Minister Sahib rightly said 6th, 7th, 8th January at the Entertainment Society of Goa premise, the same premise where IFI happens. Uh, parallelly, <coughs> we would be having uh, 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 tracks such as Purple Think Tank. These will be certain brainstorming sessions on the 7th and the 8th January. 7th January, we would be having a, s a detailed session on a dignified employment which could be given to persons with disabilities. And, and a very, very uh, national international acclaimed organization named Enable India is uh, curating the whole session. This organization is based in Bangalore. Uh, the audience what you're looking for that is the industrialists, employers, corporates who need to come ahead and give a space to the person with disability to live a dignified life. On the 8th, we have a session on inclusive education which is curated by the uh, world's largest online ebook accessible library which is based in California and uh, uh, named as Bookshare has almost more than 15 lakh titles at present available with them. So they would be discussing a lot on inclusive education, the best practices in the whole country across disabilities, disabilities like visual impairment, neurological disorders. Uh, we would be also uh, you know, discussing on uh, best schools who are practicing into uh, inclusive education. So a panel discussion would be there. The schools would be coming in from all over the country. Uh, the last session on that day is dedicated to inclusive sports where we would be having a panel discussion and uh, a, a great showcase of uh, various sh uh, sports which are played by persons with disabilities and very well acknowledged on, at an international level in terms of getting awards for the country also. Uh, the next track here we have is the Purple ex uh, Experience Zone. Now in the Experience Zone, uh, the category is divided into three. First is the Antar Chakshu, which means uh, eyes within. Uh, Antar Chakshu is curated by an organization named the Xavier's Resource Center for Visually Challenged Mumbai. It's uh, probably the best resource center in the country, uh, uh, you know, housed at the St. Xavier's College, Mahalakshmi, Bombay. And uh, they are uh, getting this here and the base thing would be okay, a set of a group of decided people would be invited there for around two hours and they would be given a simulation of the life of persons with disabilities which will probably uh, you know solve a lot of confusions and questions which many groups of people have in regards to uh, various things done by persons with disabilities. Tasab, let me yes. interrupt you here sure. for a bit uh, uh, while we go in uh, for a small break I will get back to you. Uh, we will uh, keep watching we will be back after this break. Welcome back. Now, uh, before I go to Tasab, uh, I would like to go to Subhash Bab. It's a big ask. Boshir, lot of things on the plate. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> you all are uh, prepared, getting prepared. Well, look, we have still another f 45 days to go for this festival and we have prepared everything on paper. Okay. We have identified the uh, resource persons. We have identified the human resource required to manage all these festivals. It's we huge, have but uh, from both yeah, it, it, it is, is not really even finished. And, <laughs> and, and it is a challenging <laughs> job. It is not uh, an international <laughs> film festival wherein 
the people with have with their own resources could come. get accommodated exactly. everywhere we exactly. need assistance and we need lot of uh, manpower to handle this and if we fail in delivering to a smallest extent th that could be uh, uh, people will be panic and we are we have that but somewhere it got to start and yes. we must take re uh, uh, risk you know uh, somewhere we may fail but i would i would uh, uh, i mean appreciate if somebody uh, uh, somebody takes it on sportingly and if they have been uh, we, we failed to deliver on some ground uh, but the, the, i i understand that they will <laughs> understand all these problems because we being the first timers in uh, organizing all over the country and the spirit the way we go ahead uh, the challenges that we face and we will overcome most of that but the uh, only thing is uh, 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 see we are going uh, organizing it very differently mm. we have organized western uh, western zone cricket tournament of national level okay. so we are taking help of gci i talk to the gc and gci is prepared to get this so small small things like this if each of this organization takes the responsibility yes. does it successfully then it attributes to the success of this festival so everybody in in their own field should come up and help us so most of the organizations have come up the ngos uh, you will not believe the ngos are so excited mm -hmm. they to come forward and because this kind of things has never happened yeah, yeah, ngos yeah, from yeah. goa and all around the country have come and they have uh, they are very excited and they said that whatever kind of uh, help that they can uh, give it please uh, let us contribute to that and this is the way we are going ahead so government on those lines also should also <laughs> take in the same spirit because we uh, i met uh, dr virendra kumar the minister uh, for social justice uh, this yes. indian minister yeah. and he has also uh, i mean to some extent shown very good interest and he, he will come down for the inauguration of this we are trying to get in touch with the pri honorable prime minister's office if uh, some sort of uh, this thing his presence also would be a great achievement if uh, he confirms that we are trying our best i do not know the prime minister is a uh, he has got lots of responsibilities for coming down this also but it will definitely bring uh, i mean uh, make the festival a Absolutely. very big festival and Absolutely. always we will get a spirit to organize it again and again if the honorable yes. prime minister does it you know uh, it, this subject is at his heart and we believe that if he has got a, uh, a vacant space in his uh, uh, timings he might come and also even they might some video conference yeah the video conference is definitely he will that much i suppose come no no that le tatun bitar video conference ka khadra ami tanche kade bolayle be asa that is confirmed that he will inaugurate uh, but if he <coughs> physically comes down that is, <laughs> no no that is a big uh, this thing but we cannot expect that but might come so this is a uh, sources says that this subject is to his okay. heart and he might uh, do that so anyway uh all sort of uh, things we are trying to accommodate at one place curating films also for for them the blind person who will enjoy the films also this is uh, altogether different so we will have all this crowd within the panjim cities and everybody each sector will be catering to each of these we will have different uh, one not one after another the things and activities will be overlapping yes, well, simultaneous simultaneous yes. because yes. all these things cannot be done on one platform correct correct so we will be having a very big stage for all the celebrities opening and closing ceremony and besides the winning programs by celebrities but besides that all those uh, good performances from each of the states we will give them uh, a place wherein they can exhibit their performances Uh, uh, to where 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 this will be in Kala Academy? Kala Academy, uh, the court, uh, not Kala ESG, Academy. ESG. We have ESG, uh, ESG courtyard, ESG. and we will be placing a big, huge uh, stage. Uh, stage. Okay. And besides this, there will be another stage to perform all those uh, uh, the states performers to exhibit because they would like to perform yes. also. Uh, it is uh, wherever we have seen in Goa also. the performances are so um, i mean amazing that they produce you cannot believe that they are disabled so this is a kind of spirit that they have since they are putting lot of efforts that needs to be exhibited somewhere the Absolutely. performances needs to be uh, i mean uh, encouraged so we are trying to motivate all the ngos uh, you will not believe the kind of responses that we gave we were expecting 5000 mm -hmm. and we have opened up our uh, uh, delegate 
registration about 20 days back and yes. we got responses to the extent of 3000 already yes. already uh, <laughs> booked you know registered with us so 5000 would be two less now Actually, yes. <laughs> yes. this kind of uh, registry, registration i have not seen for international film festival also yes, exactly. so everybody is excited and hope and pray that everything goes smoothly and we last uh, besides people registered also families will probably come with them no, no, yes. that is the, no, no, that is the that is the that is why we want all the people because they should feel that they are inclusive mm. so it is not meant only for uh, the uh, person with disability we need to interact with them we need to play with them and they should feel that we are at par with you all and everybody is enjoying with us we do not want any disables to be looked in the angle like uh, it is sympathetically that i will provide help i will uh, hold your hand nothing, nothing. like that they okay. should be independent enough they should be socially empowered they should be educationally empowered they sh should be provided with the employment we are trying to get the sections curated for getting all those industrialists and all those um, uh, 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 multinationals mm -hmm. companies also who are provided in different sectors uh, the employment all that forum also we are trying to curate it and we will be giving these responsibilities to a specific organizations that they will do it independently and it will the success will be attributed to this uh, purple fast you know we have wide ideas <laughs> <laughs> wide and wide <laughs> ideas uh, let us hope with the uh, support and the coordination and uh, uh, by uh, uh, the financial assistance from all over we would be able to do it absolutely it's a very very i mean like uh, the minister is extremely enthusiastic yeah. oh yes i mean yes. Yes. Yeah. you are absolutely. lucky to yes. i mean like, yeah. i'm like true, true, true. Really <laughs> no, no it's not that because very whichever true. subject that i take on yeah, i have no, the, no, I, i'm always involved in the way i have come here it is not by money exactly. i got elected because of these qualities in me because wherever anybody dies or if anybody is in the sea or if anybody is in the drawn i go and pick up all those dead bodies you must have seen during yes. the covid also yes. i have yes. worked tremendously Absolutely. you will not believe during the covid to get the uh, dead bodies and put it in the hearse well i have uh, been there without changing my all uh, this thing <laughs> identity for three days i worked to just pick up the uh, dead bodies and put it in the uh, uh, this. so i have got those qualities yeah. because of that i'm here you know it is not that because i am uh, I have uh, financials or I have uh, a community background or nothing like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Now before uh, before yeah. I, I uh, like we are like fast running out of time. <laughs> Sorry, that's how you were telling me about this car rally. You've not spoken about it yet. Give us some details. Yes. Uh, and how the minister is going to organize that? That I is something you. that I will tell you. We'll uh, just finishing up my tracks. Experience zone. Ke baad, as Minister Sab is saying, we will be screening uh, movies uh, which will be accessible for persons with visual impairment and uh, uh, persons who are hard of hearing. Uh, then we have the Purple Fun, where we have got the car rally, wherein the navigators would be persons with visual impairment. Okay. So this will be a wonderful exercise that is happening on the 6th which starts and the first uh, uh, car would be flagged off at 9 o'clock in the morning on 6th from, from ESD itself okay. right and uh, uh, the base concept of that is the navigator would be blind he would be given a braille sheet so nobody knows neither the car driver will know okay, what he has to do there right okay. so it will be a <laughs> very similar yeah. car rally what others have with specific tasks speed time and task kind of a <sighs> this thing and they return back till around 12 31 and we have the grand finale there okay. plus we have a wonderful spread out of, of purple exhibition area Jahape we are expecting Where? more than Where? again there only it's okay, everything yeah, is yeah, happening okay. at ESD. Okay. So we are expecting around 70 75 uh, types of uh, aids and appliances stall and that will not be limited only to India. We are expressed it outside the metal of India also. So we'll be having worldwide spread of aids and appliances which would be uh, you know Manifact displayed for uh, the awareness of persons with disabilities and, and you're getting response for that oh yes yeah. already started and well wonderful done. response wow. okay. plus we have got a wonderful thing every day in the evening uh, from 6 30 onwards we will be having live performances of national and international level person with disability artists 
so it may be wheelchair dances really? it may be stand up uh -oh. comedies <laughs> it may be wonderful bands who have really gone uh, from the european countries to uh, the you know american countries and everything and they've come back uh, yes and we have got uh, the play we have got uh, the uh, uh, i was just you know seeing one person such a wonderful singer he sings in both male and female voice very flawlessly wow. person with autism and total blindness so those kind of people are there in our country itself so that's the basic that's called as purple rain as sir said rightly ki it is these all events are parallelly happening we have got our purple fun may we will be having excursions right sir said beach a person with wheelchair will easily go into the water using a floating wheelchair a person uh, on wheelchair or person with blindness will have heritage walks they could go to old goa and some other temples so those things are getting in uh, you know finalized yeah we have like running out of time last yeah. week prakash bab yeah you was your thing on that because you've been uh, you know so involved in yeah. this and what what do you feel no no uh, we are Activist from know, yeah. disability community sector yeah. where we are working yeah. uh, it is a uh, in disability uh, seeing is believing mm -hmm. once you have exposure mm -hmm. this will be a huge exposure both to people as well as to the persons with disability themselves mm -hmm. when so many people come down when we are planning for them accessibility is the hallmark of disabilities mm -hmm. empowerment yeah. education yeah. everything in that sense government has already chief minister and minister have made statements mm -hmm. that they is will try yeah, <laughs> not only that they yeah. have yeah. said that goa should be a center tourism center for accessible people it is a huge step it will be that is how we look at it that people also understand that disabled should be assimilated mainstreamed when you see them when you see them performing uh, like uh, taha said about uh, visual impaired navigating uh, car race then you will understand their needs you will understand their um, uh, accessibility needs and this could be a great huge step for society to understand yeah okay thanks uh, prakash bab now uh, uh, minister any last word because we will like really <laughs> no uh, this will create what you know uh, this is a tourism destination goa is a tourism destination and Correct. all those worldwide goa will be recognized that also. it is accessible for everybody and the tourism flow will increase <coughs> so i believe that tourism department also to Should come forward <laughs> to grab this opportunity <laughs> to say that the goa is accessible for everybody so Absolutely. this is how yeah thanks thanks uh, thanks uh, subhash bab uh, thanks uh, tasaib <laughs> thanks prakash bab and i'm sure uh, our minister of tourism is very dynamic i'm sure yes. he will, and he they follow us so i'm sure he will uh, he's very cooperative sure frankly glen the history is about to create i yes. will tell you that and right. we are there with you whatever yes. we need like thank you sir or thank you. on we whatever way we can help we are always there thank you thanks uh, subhash bab uh, thanks uh, tasaib thanks uh, prakash bab thank you it was it was thank very you. nice thank and you. Uh, I'm sure Pleasure. we will uh, we will carry on this thing and host. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And uh, this is Purple Fest. It's happening on six, seventh, eighth of January. This is something that we are looking forward to, and uh, we will be involved in this in whichever way, whether officially or unofficially. But we'll be involved in this. <laughs> Thank you, and keep watching Goa three sixty five.